Roger. On this July 20th, 1969. Lift off, the final lift off of Atlantis. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. We are on the cusp of launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil yet again. Um, and as you said, Bob, this time we're doing it differently than we've ever done it before. NASA is not going to purchase, own, and operate the hardware the way we used to purchase, own, and operate the hardware. We are partnering with commercial industry. With the this is his first space flight introducing NASA astronaut Victor Glover. The second crew member on this mission was born in Lebanon, Missouri, and grew up on a farm near Richland, Missouri. He is an Air Force Colonel and a flight test engineer. He was selected as an astronaut in 2009. He spent 166 days on the International Space Station for Expeditions 37 and 38, introducing NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. I'm happy you went into space, but I'm even happier that you're coming back home. I've been trying, Daddy. We love you. We can't wait to see you. Wake up, wake up. Rise and shine, Dad. Me, Luke, Leo, and Mom can't wait to see you, Daddy. Love you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. They wake up. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug! America has launched. So rises a new era of American space flight. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go! Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. You know, there's, there's not that much good news, and and I think this is one of those, this is one of those those things that is universally good, no matter where you are on planet Earth. This is a good thing, and and I hope it brightens your day.